Hot Spot Outdoors, brought to you by Mills Fleet Farm, proudly serving America's heartland since 1955, and M&M Lawn and Leisure, work hard, play hard. Welcome everyone to another episode of Hotspot Outdoors. I'm Andy Loves and this week we're heading to the backwaters of the Mississippi River in search for slab crappies. Joining me on today's show is a good friend of mine and pro staff member, Mike Walrick. Now the area we're fishing today is a well-known spot and a lot of fish have been taken out of this spot already this winter. But with constant movement and staying on these schools of crappies, we're definitely going to get into these big fish. Well, let's get on the ice with Mike and let's catch some crappies. Well folks, we finally got everything set up here. Um, it was a long walk this morning out to the spot, but we drilled, Mike drilled a bunch of holes, um, kind of spread out the holes just to kind of cover an area. And today we're, we're really bouncing around to many, many different holes because these, these crappies are always moving in these, these small schools of fish and um, trying to stay on the bite and drilling a lot of holes. That's really what it's all about. So um, we're gonna see how can do here today and hopefully put some nice slab crappies on the ice. What I'm finding is the fish that are just under the ice or as close to under the ice are usually the more active ones. This guy here, he's hit it a number of times. Came up with it every time. Crappie! Hit it. He's not big. Definitely a good start to the morning here. He came right in on the graft. Whoa, can't get a hold of him. <laughs> We're in about 20 feet of water here. That fish literally came in at about five feet. <laughs> and just engulfed that jig too. Check that out. It's awesome. Hopefully they're biting like that today. Well, not a big guy, but definitely a good start to the morning. He came into the screen and literally I saw him come in, brought my jig up to him, above him a little bit, and he just instantly came right up, watched the spring bobber go down, and wham, fish on. Not the size we're looking for, but they're here, they're here. What we're seeing, or what I'm kind of noticing, is those sunfish are hanging down a little bit more towards the bottom. We're fishing in about 19 to 21 feet, and it seems like the, the less active fish are hanging around. Oh! <laughs> the less active fish are hanging around in that 15 foot range and deeper, whereas the more active crappies are anywhere from 6 to 10 feet uh, down to just right under the ice even. There he is. A little excited there before. Oh, that's a baby, baby crappie. See, see that seems to be what's hanging around uh, deeper down there in that 15 foot and deeper. 
Mike, is that going to be your big one of the day? That's my big one of the day right there. You should you should have kept it and put it on the wall. <laughs> so what what I'm kind of noticing is these more active crappies are cruising six to ten feet down, and what I'm doing is I'm hopping from hole to hole because even though we're on a fairly uh, well-known spot, they don't the crappies aren't don't have that pressure to move them around. If I was out here and there was a lot of people out here. I'd be more inclined to just cut in five, six holes and uh, just fishing my little area. But since uh, there's no one out here to push the fish around, I cut probably close to 30 holes this morning and I'm checking each hole. I check it with my flasher. If I see a fish down there, I stop and fish it until the fish goes away. And you'll see a lot of times, sometimes those fish will hang around for five minutes, sometimes 30 seconds and they're gone. And I'm just moving with them. But the key is I'm not fishing any holes that don't have fish in them. So just uh, keeping moving seems to be uh, what's working right now. These crappies are definitely moving in and out of here and it's just catching them when they do come through here. Yeah, he's coming up. There we go. Doesn't seem too big. Oh, yeah. There we go. Not a monster. A little fish to get us started here this morning. Put him back. A lot of these fish are just roaming through here in this backwater cut. And, you know, and it's, when they come through, you gotta be on them right away because they, they come in fast and they're gone fast. But I think if you can get their attention, I mean, they're definitely coming up and taking a look in our jigs, so. I've got three on the screen right there. Oh, there he comes up. Good solid line. Bumped it. There he goes. Not super big, but. Oh, yeah, it's crappie. There, a nice little eater crappie. Took him on the Lindy Frosty. I've been bouncing around from hole to hole. And finally went over to the Frosty jig. He still didn't pop it real hard, but he hit it. Nice eater sized fish. Gonna let him go though today. There, let's get another one. Come on, buddy. There we go. Ooh, feels a little bit better this time. Oh yeah. Definitely a nicer fish here. Yes. Yes. There we go. Beautiful crappie. He just engulfed that bait too. Oh, look at that. Just inhaled that Cecil. Might have to bring out the players to get this one out. We've been bouncing around all morning here trying to get into these schools here. Now I'm actually, I see two more fish on my graph right now. Um, actually came up on a flat here, it's about 11 foot flat. Uh, and there's definitely some fish down there. Hopefully they're all crappies like that. But nice crappie there. All right, let's get him back. That's what I'm talking about. We need more like that. Have you been to Hot Spot Outdoors lately? Here at Hot Spot Outdoors, we have more fun at the leading end. Our website is filled with fishing and hunting information that will blow your mind. With thousands of outdoor users coming to our website each and every day, you can be sure that we have the hunting and fishing information you are looking for. Check us out online at www.hotspotoutdoors.com.
Now that just shows you folks, you know, drilling a lot of holes can definitely pay off. You know, I, I moved in, we actually drilled a bunch of new holes here, dropped it down, wham, hey, got that nice crappie there. I still have more fish in the screen here. Come on, here it comes. There we go. As you can see, my coal pilot behind me, I caught a nice crappie, oh yes. Caught a nice crappie and he's all over it too, right Mike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice crappie. Just wait, I got a couple working on the screen yeah. here. Whoa. Yeah, this is another nice crappie, Mike. Ah, there I got one. I don't know what I got here. Good size? Ah, uh, uh, bluegill. Decent bluegill, but yeah. Not a bad bluegill at all. All right. We're going to keep a few fish here today. I'm going to get back down there. I got two more fish in my screen here. Well, when we came up on this little flat here, Andy, yeah. these fish are up here almost like they're waiting for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're hungry down there right now. You can't I get know. Down, back down fast enough. It's unbelievable how you can just move 20 feet, 30 feet, and we're in a whole different group of fish here. Here he comes. He's already flying up at my jig. Come on. Hello, I'm up here. And it seems like I'm getting mostly sunfish here where I'm at. But... That wind is so bad here. Can't hardly even feel Another my nice line. Gill. Another ooh, nice gill. Say they're not the giants that the Mississippi backwaters are known there for. There we go. But they're still a heck of a lot of fun to catch. Nonetheless, yep. You know those hand-sized gills. Yeah, I just got a Great nice gill. Kids. I wish it was a crappie, but I'm satisfied with a nice gill. I'll take blue gills. Yeah, I'm not fussy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they're biting as fast as this. Yeah, exactly. Andy, you've grown up on the Mississippi backwaters down here. Uh, what do you think for the overall size? Do you think it's been improving lately or a lot more fish, but smaller fish? Well, on the bluegills, um, the, the size has definitely went up with the, the amount of fish you can actually take. So, I mean, it, it definitely plays a role. And even this summer, fishing some of the wing dams for, for some of these big bluegills, I mean, our numbers and the size of these fish have just increased incredibly how about you right i've kind of noticed the same thing i mean i don't fish the lower pools as much but i know on a couple of the pools like pool five they've they've uh, made the limit uh 10 bluegills and i've definitely noticed a size increase up there just because they uh lowered the bag limits a little bit yep it definitely plays a big role wow there's a lot of fish down here Yeah, Mike, you're an idiot, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, I know. But I think I'm probably catching more fish than you. Oh. Just remember, I just caught two beauty crappies right here in a row. Yeah, I've got a hot one. Do you? Yeah, I'm hoping High it comes or low? In. Uh, I'm seeing most of them right about that eight foot. Unfortunately, the wind decided to blow, and it's not keeping my line just perfectly straight, so there he is. <laughs> Uh, he's in my transducer cord, of course. Yeah, we'll get him out of here. Oh, there. We got the fish first, transducer later. <laughs> That's the important thing. There. What a decent crappie. Perfect eater size. If we were eating fish, these would be the perfect size to fry up. Not too big. Uh, not the good spawning uh, fish that we like to release. Uh, just a good all-around eater for this one here. Get him back in. Boy, we came into these holes and they were hot right off the bat. I wow, gonna, I know. It was just nonstop. I think I'm going to have to skip a little bit here. Yeah, I'm at, ooh, here try I actually got a fish two. coming up right now. Let's see if we can get them fired up again. There you go. Bluegill.
Ooh, that's a nice fish. Oh, felt nice. Oh yeah, nice big gill. Ah, there we go. Beautiful, nice. Eight and a half inch gill. You can always tell <laughs> when they hit and the rod bends. <laughs> Definitely a little bigger, bigger than some of the other gills we're getting here. Yeah. Even talking to the cameraman before that fish, I looked on the graph, I'm like, ooh, that's a little bit bigger graph. So that could be either a bigger crappie or a big bluegill. And obviously came up to a nice big gill. It's amazing how these graphs, you can even tell, you know, how big the fish are somewhat to give you an idea if that's, you know, it's gonna be a nice fish for camera or, or just if you're in a good school of fish. Today, we're actually not using any wax worms at all. Um, we're actually using spikes. Um, very similar to a wax worm, a little bit smaller, um, just kind of a different presentation, um, different scent in the water, I guess. Um, waxies do always work good, but sometimes when there's a lot of pressure in an area, sometimes you want to switch it up and do something a little bit different because a lot of people have the tendency to use wax worms, which is great, but switching it up can also get those fish to bite too. So. Come on, buddy, we got a big old red blob down there. <laughs> I don't know if I had him right away or not. Oh, this is a nice bumper. Oh, that's nice. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at him. That is a Mississippi River backwaters crappie there. Definitely too big to keep, but a heck of a lot of fun to catch. Oh, hit that Lindy Frosty spoon. You know, we cut a lot of holes. We got on this slope here, and this seems to be where they're at. And, uh, probably 60 holes into the day, and that's what you get. Oh, Back there's the a fish. Oh, I got a nice one too, Mike. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is a nicer fish. <laughs> yes. Another good one too? Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes, I that's think what I'm talking about. Dialed. dialed in finally. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. He just, Mike, he just, en just engulfed that jig too. I'm using a spoon real similar to that. Wow. That's what I am talking about. You know, it took a little while here this morning. We've been out, we got out here, what, about 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning? Yeah. And we started in the spot normally. Boy, I got actually a really good hook in them. Um, we started out in the spot that we normally would get these crappies. And it, you know, sometimes due to pressure, they'll push them fish to other spots. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, these uh, fish are so sensitive, you know, and these fish, according to, or just, you know, and looking at this the way the ice looks, I mean, there was some other people out here fishing these oh, yeah. uh, fish, so yep. you can tell, I mean, they have been beat on a little bit, but, you know, we're on, like I was saying before, we're on our, our 50th hole that we cut, Yeah. we're, we're dialing them dialing in. Dialing them in here. And I definitely need to get my players here because I cannot get this jig out. It's always good when you get a good hook set. <laughs> Aha, got it. Get it? Let's All put right. a measurement on him. Yeah, he absolutely. He is here. He's a... Uh, or where he's right there. Go to right the one there. right there. Okay. That's the one. Just about, about 13, 13 and a half. 13 and a half. 13 and a half inches. Beautiful crappie. You know, like your fish was right up there too, but right. you know, too think... big to keep for us at least. Definitely. You know, you catch them 10 to 12 inches. I think those are the perfect eaters for these crappies. Definitely. But yeah. Perfect. Let's get them back because we want them to survive another day and there he goes. That's All what right. I'm talking about there, buddy. All right. Let's, keep let's going. catch some more.
been to Hot Spot Outdoors lately? Here at Hot Spot Outdoors, we have more fun at the leading end. Our website is filled with fishing and hunting information that will blow your mind. With thousands of outdoor users coming to our website each and every day, you can be sure that we have the hunting and fishing information you are looking for. Check us out online at www.hotspotoutdoors.com. Folks, we want to take some time here and kind of go over some of the tackle Mike and I are using today. Uh, you know, Mike, we're using basic tackle that you get at any bait shop, fleet farm. Um, what were you using today? Um, I started out using some, uh, some of the Lindy jigs uh, and ended up finding that they were particularly partial to the frosty spoon, you know, tipped with anywhere from three to five spikes on there. Um, one thing that I noticed that you like to use is that new nanofill line. Yeah, it's uh, something I've just tried this year ice fishing and so far I think I kind of like it. It uh, seems to be really sensitive, you know, coupled with the spring bobber on there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, more important than the line is the spring bobber on here and the setup. Absolutely. So, I mean, you can just barely see those little taps and you got to be ready with the hook set, you know. And the nanofill line, which is zero stretch, you know, it just, it's that much more, uh, you can set the hook that much more quickly. Compared so, to mono. Compared to mono. And you know, some of the crappies, they just stormed right up and just smoked the jig. But then others oh. came up and you could just see your spring bobber barely move and you had them hooked. That's right. So, and that's, that's the big advantage of that spring bobber is they just don't feel you when they suck in that jig. And um, it, it's crucial, especially fishing crappies. Boy, Andy, I got a nice school of them down really? here. Really? Yeah, I know. I got some fish here, too. Big old blob. There he's got him. You got oh, him? I didn't know if he had it or not. I had to second guess. He's a nice fish. Is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice crappie. Oh, wow. That That is that is a really nice, wow. Another nice 11, 12-incher. Boy. Ooh. You got one too? Yep. All right. Oh. Andy, this is what I dream about at night. <laughs> every night. I really do. <laughs> Does it get any better? Uh, no, no. <laughs> There's still some fish down there. I know. Yeah. Mine's obviously not as big as yours. Definitely had me beat. Wow. Give me a five on that one. That is <laughs> solid. That's Catching cool. fish like this, oh, I, I dream for it. That's close enough to be a double to be considered a double, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Here he comes. Come on, take it. There we go. Ooh. This feels a little better. Ooh, he's fighting good. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yes. Bam. Nice crop. Come on, buddy. You know you want it. There he is. <laughs> Doesn't feel too bad. Oh, yeah. Nice crop. Again. Just, just a plain fun fish to catch. There we go. All right. Oh, this is a nice fish. Definitely a nice fish here. Yes. Come here, buddy. Stop moving. I'm gonna miss you. Yes. Yeah. Nice crappie. The, these fish are definitely biting good here this afternoon. We had a slow period right away in the morning we caught some fish and then it slowed down there for a while and now it seems like it's definitely picking up. These fish are getting, a little, getting to be a little more active here this afternoon. Well Mike, it was a good day on the water here today. Yeah. Can't was, complain how we did. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Got quite a few fish and some real nice ones mixed in. Some oh, crappies absolutely. and bluegills. Yeah. Had a little bit of a mixed bag. So yeah, can't beat it. Yep. And you just, you know, catching those big 13 inch crappies, I mean, it just, it's there's, unbelievable there's, the size of them. They're just huge. Oh, there's nothing more fun. I live 
for wintertime <laughs> crappie fishing. Like this. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, what do we got is that here? actually a decent fish? Yeah. That well. is a really nice fish. Oh, okay. There we go. Hey, one more. <laughs> might as well. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Might as well. Might as well end on a good note. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not bad. Ain't that 13 inch that we were just talking about, but you know. But no, I'm, I'll take I'll take these just as easy as I'll take a 13 inch. Or... Yeah, so. exactly. Well, it was fun hitting the water with you today, and we'll have to do it again yeah. sometime. Anytime. All right, sounds good. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in, and we hope you enjoyed the show. And I think we should at least catch a few more before we go. Yeah, let's go. We can't leave just yet. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Hot Spot Outdoors, brought to you by Mills Fleet Farm, proudly serving America's heartland since 1955, and Eminem Lawn and Leisure. Work hard, play hard. <laughs>